This is Travel in the Bluegrass. Hey, with us today, Rocky Action, Eastern Kentucky. And you know, Eastern Kentucky, for folks who may not think about it, there are tremendous tourism opportunities in Eastern Kentucky. You might just tell us about those. Well, there's, there's several tourist uh, opportunities and attractions throughout Eastern Kentucky. Whether you go to one of our beautiful state parks or whether you go to one of our performing arts center, whether you go to one of our bluegrass festivals where we got so much talent throughout our region, uh, the rich tradition that we have of our people. And, you know, to be able to go to the Red River Gorge or to be able to go to one of our state parks, uh, one of the beautiful lakes that we have throughout eastern Kentucky, or one of the beautiful championship golf courses at our state parks, which is ranked as some of the best and most beautiful golf courses and challenging golf courses throughout the nation. So we have so much to offer and, you know, to kind of have the new attractions now coming in and, you know, in, in the agritech area of uh, App Harvest, which is making tremendous investments throughout our region and creating hundreds of jobs with millions upon millions of dollars of an investment. So I would invite people to come to Eastern Kentucky. I'm not just from Eastern Kentucky. I live in Eastern Kentucky. I'm a proud Eastern Kentucky. I'm proud of who we are. I'm proud of our heritage. And I'm proud of the beautiful, beautiful, unbelievable um, destinations that we have throughout our, our region. So uh, we have much to offer in Eastern Kentucky. Our beauty, um, we take it for granted sometime. But um, to come there, to be able to relax, to be able to see the beautiful scenery and the many destinations is a place people need to come and spend a few days, especially through COVID and being able to be in the outdoors. Now's the time to do that and we invite you to come.